The African Union is trying to prevent conflicts before they happen rather than respond after they erupt. The organization is focusing on an early warning system based in Addis Ababa. CGTN's Coletta Wanjohi spoke to Fred Ngoga, the head of conflict prevention at the AU Commission, about the monitoring center. Overall, I would say that the early warning system has worked. There's not a single conflict situation at least as I know, uh, where I have not seen a report from the analyst uh, uh, warning that uh, there is a problem. The, the fact of the matter is that uh, most of the countries who go through these problems, you see a build-up. You see a build-up, be it uh, by looking at indicators such as uh, the human rights indicators, by looking at uh, the economy, uh, whether the economy is growing and, and creating enough jobs or, or is just growing and not what they call the jobless economy. So, uh, or whether a country has a history of violence altogether. You know, usually you see that build up. So it is quite easy to predict whether or not uh, a, a conflict is going to erupt. The issue is the appropriate response uh, that needs to be given. So what is the AU doing to tighten the gap between the early warning and early response? I just had my, uh, my briefing in January where I, did, I gave an outline of potential threats. Our Commissioner for Peace and Security has what he calls a monthly breakfast with members of the Peace and Security Council, uh, briefing them about potential threats. But most importantly, we have developed what we call uh, the Continental uh, Structural Prevention Framework, which has two pillars. One is the, we assist our member states to assess their own structural vulnerability assessment and resilience, because it's important to look at the resilience as well. And then the second part is to uh, assist our member states to mitigate uh, against the, uh, the potential vulnerabilities uh, there. Uh, the, the other thing that we do, uh, which is very important, is a focus on national peace infrastructure. Because ultimately, the, 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 most, the number one responsible in terms, of, uh, in terms of responding to a conflict is the member states first. So we've been working with our member states, establishing their own national early warning system, strengthening the offices of the, their, their ombudsman uh, in the case where they have an ombudsman. So there is a lot we're doing. Do you have plans to strengthen or improve the current monitoring system for the early warning mechanism? There is constantly room for imp improvement. One of the things that we, 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 are, we are doing, for instance, is uh, and, you know, working with the United Nations, for instance, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the office of the in charge of preventing mass atrocities and genocide. We are working on establishing uh, uh, some indicators on, that can guide us in terms of seeing potential mass atrocities. We are working with our different uh, uh, organizations uh, within the, the, the AU, for instance, on issues of climate change to be able to have uh, clear guidelines. Still with the UN as well, we're working on uh, indicators on human rights violations. Uh, you know? But we're also working with others on economic indicators uh, because those are some of the things that can guide you uh, to have a sense of where things are heading.